High-performing FTC robots often use smart design tricks to maximize performance and durability. Team 7244 is a prime example of leveraging extensive custom CNC parts and a slick power takeoff mech or PTO mechanism that lets them use their drive motors to add to their linear slide motors, doubling the torque for their hanging lift. Seeing how they integrate these advanced techniques, like their pivoting arm design and the PTO system, can provide your team with actual ideas for building more competitive and robust robots. I'm Coach Pratt, and I've coached national champion FTC teams and inspired award winners. In this video, we're breaking down their use of extensive CNC parts, how their pivoting arm mechanism functions, and getting a closer look at exactly how that power takeoff works straight from the team who built it. Let's get into it. Here's a quick breakdown of the 2024 FTC Seasons game into the deep. The game is played on a 3 by 3 meter field with two alliances with two robots on each red and blue alliance respectively. Robots had to go into the center structure to collect plastic rectangular prisms and place them in the respective baskets on the corners of the field for 8 points. Or they could bring a sample to a human. This human adds a special clip to the plastic piece. And then that allows the robot to hang this piece from the center bar for 10 points. In the last stages of the match, the end game, robots can hang from the bottom rung for 15 points or grab the bottom bar, lift themselves up off the ground, and then grab the top bar and lift themselves up for 30 points. There are more complexities to the game, but that's a rough idea. Now, let's see how this robot managed those challenges. On a vertical extension, yep. we actually chose a cup pivot, mm, which mm -hmm. includes all of our slides, all of our extensions. Yep. So in the down position, you can see here. We use an Misumi two forty. Yeah. Hey, yeah, that was a huge. Yeah. We did decide to do that specifically because yep. we've had ah. earlier years where we have more slides, and mm -hmm. we found that the stringing got very uh, much yes, more complicated, very, broke a lot more often. So we just wanted simplicity. So that's why we chose the the longer slides. Um, and then uh, what we do is we pivot with. The, there's actually a pivot motor in the back. It's hard to see now because we included this servo. Specifically, I'll tell you later for the hang, but we included mm -hmm. this servo for the hang. And then in the back here, we actually have passive tensioners, which essentially when we do pivot back, you can see that we introduce... What is your slack. passive tensioner? Is this little guy right here? These two guys. Yep. Um, uh -huh. Both, yeah, retraction and extension. Mm -hmm. But yeah, as we pivot, mm -hmm. essentially, we're introducing a lot of slack into yes. the string system. Yep. So we include the, we made these passive hooks, which which are just spring powered. Why did you decide to use a lever arm in here with a spring attached as opposed to simply just using a spring at the end of your string? Yeah, so essentially... Because of the hang, we're, it's, I mean, it's a 32 pound bot. And when we're, when we're hanging on these slides, because of our gearbox, which I'll tell you later about, yep. we're, we're introducing a lot of torque. And so if you just have a spring, what ends up happening is it's going to over pull that string and then uh, the spring and it's going to break. Yeah. Um, so we just yep. include passive tension okay. rather than that. It's yep. just so we, we're not breaking very good. You can see how, that we actually power the extension with these three motors in the front. Mm -hmm. And then they go through the gearbox. Yep. And so this is, we chose a gearbox just because we would have a, a lot of high speed when, in, in the actual game itself. Yep. And but then for the hang, a yeah. A lot of torque on that thing. Exactly, yeah. So we actually shift arm. to uh, a one to five. I'll, I'll have a quick yep. demo for you. Sure. But essentially, you can see that we actually have a, a shifter right there. Oh, cool. So that yep. shifts us. So yep. these two gears are actually mm -hmm. always in motion. So if I spin this right here yep you can see that they're actually moving the axles yep. but what actually makes this the actual you know oh. output start moving is when you shift into one of them it essentially then essentially makes whichever gear you're going to oh. active onto that yeah. actual axle yeah and then as you can see the so entire changes the ratio through. exactly yeah yeah and during that hang yeah. after we use these main primary yeah. hooks to start hanging on there that first part yeah. yes once we're all the way up there, we actually opted for a very forward and low center of mass. Yep. Just because we have this pivot, it's a lot of weight moving back and forth. Do you find you end up cantilevering off? That's so here's the here's actually that's the problem. Is yep. once we reach that high bar, we start dripping below that mm. top the, mm. the bottom bar uh, because of that low center of mass. And yep. that's part of the design. So we we have to work around that. Yep. So what we decided to do is actually make the robot start crunching on itself. So we actually pivot the robot <laughs> oh, as okay. we're hanging. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And the, the motor yeah, in the yeah, back was wasn't powerful enough, so we did mm -hmm. it through this servo here, mm -hmm. which is connected to the um the entire chain system, which moves this pivot. Yep, yep. And we keep it in passive during just teleop, yep. but then actually activate it for the hang. Yep, I'm um, assuming you use a rev servo hub to be able to do that. Okay, so it's rev yep. servo hub. 
And there is one other thing that we do for the hang. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's kind of a fail safe. So as we're starting to hang, yep. we want to, we want it so that when we stop the robot, it doesn't just extend all the way back down and fall to the floor. Yep. So we actually included this, this um, brake, which goes straight to all yeah. the three motors. So once you let go of that, you yep. can actually go down. So we can actually activate this way early on and start going up. So we're starting to retract. The but then once we're actually hanging on the bars, you can see. Yeah, yeah, you can't. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's it's so, a little ratchet break. Actually, That's yeah, fun. Exactly. Really um, fun. And there is fail safe so that we can put it back. Turn it off just in case you. Oh, yeah, exactly. that's yeah. yes. I see what you mean. You got a little angle there so that if yeah. this thing falls down early, you can. We can, we can always activate it back, it back up. up. Yeah. Otherwise, you're hoop. Right. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. yeah. There's this intake which we which we use for I mean intaking and outtaking. Yep. yep. It's an active intake which we like to call a pinch take, a pinch intake. Yep. Can't yep. actually pull it out that easily. Guys. Yep. And then we just, just outtake uh, in the back like normal. Uh, and then mm-hmm. I mean that's the main robot. We also do have a specimen arm for versatility uh, so that we can actually run specimens. Just in case you run into yeah. a team where clearly it. samples yeah. your base. Here in our in our fully retracted position. Yep. You pick up no. perfectly from the wall. Oh nice. And then after you after you're done with that, you essentially just spin it around. Yep. But then at, at the actual full Yep. Standard position. Yep. Essentially, you're right at the position of the high rung. Sorry, not high rung. High, high bar for the yep. specimens to hang them. Yep. So all the geometry just works. You don't need any any more than just one um, pivot. And then now, you actually know this little linkage here. Yeah, this linkage. So this you is find actually that's an over linkage. Yes. Yeah. So essentially, we originally had it so that it wasn't over center. So yep. when you run into the bar, it's the... Yep. <laughs> yep. Sorry. That was exactly my thing. Specimen mark. Yeah. So it's actually an over center linkage. So once we hit here, any... Linear force, just yeah, it gets it gets counteracted yeah. by this. So the only yeah. thing that can then retract is by yeah. rotating the servo. Yeah, I love the little piece of foam as your addition there, so you don't beat the yeah beat the yeah. absolute snot out of your parts there. What are you most proud of this My season on proud. this? I think just the simplicity of the design. Yeah. I mean, we're intaking, like, outtaking, and hanging with just the pivot. Yep, yeah. and yeah. a lot of people have tried pulling off this this pivot design with all the slides mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. the fact that we're using especially not having the motors yeah. on the actual pivot and having, yep. having no. three of them yep. powering this pivot and then yep. also using that those three motors allocating them to oh. both speed and torque with the gearbox mm-hmm. just the system as a whole is very yep. amazing it's, it was very amazing as susan